Hello world, Mike with Newfound Past, and today we want to talk about our backdrops because we finally, after about two months, got our black backdrop in. Uh, the first one showed delivered, and it wasn't, so uh, Amazon sent us another one, but it's back ordered for over a month. But we finally got it yesterday, and we're going to put it up today. So we talked about in our photography setup video about the system we have, and we really like it. And uh, we got these brackets, the mounting system, off of Amazon. It's a three-tier system. It uh, can do a total of three backdrops. We're doing two for now, and we hope to add like a textured one later. Uh, the only thing this system does not come with is the, the uh, piping for between the brackets. It recommends a metal pipe, but two-inch Schedule 40, that's important, Schedule 40 PVC works just fine. You can get this at Lowe's, Home Depot, wherever. You will have to cut it to length. And these came in eight-foot sections. Or maybe even 10 foot sections. Yeah, 10 foot sections. We had come down to about six feet, just over six feet. So uh, these are relatively cheap though. So so to do this, you know, obviously need a drill with uh, drill bits and uh, stuff like that. And you also need a saw to cut your pipes to length. But other than that, it's just basic stuff. You need a step ladder and all that stuff. So this system comes as a pulley system. And you can put these chains, they're plastic, but these are the pulley system on either side of it. We chose to put it on this side by our window over here that you can't see because we didn't want it too close to our door. So with using these chains, you can take the system up and down. Like right now we have the, the white backdrop down and I can come over here and pull the, ch the chain and I can take this all the way up. Easy as that. So, and we have a black one, like I said, we want to do a third one so you can raise and lower uh, up to three backdrops with this system and this is a tension system this goes inside the pipe and you tension it down and that's important because the weight of the screen will pull the, the the weight of the screen will pull the pipe if you don't have the tension right so that takes a little bit of a uh, tinkering once you get the screen up you have to tighten and loosen to get the uh, chain mechanism to work properly with the uh, the weight of the screen but anyway so on to the mounting of the screen to the pipe. All you need for this, duct tape. Heavy duty tape, we got Gorilla tape here, but duct tape, any heavy duty tape. I wouldn't use packing tape necessarily. Use a heavy duty duct tape for this because this is what's gonna hold the screen to the pipe. So the second purpose of this video is we are testing out a new microphone on our iPad. It is a Rode, hope I'm saying that right, Video Mic Me and tell us how this works if this works i'm going to put it in our affiliate links below and these are relatively inexpensive uh, it has a av jack that plugs right into your ipad so i hope this works out because our audio on ipad has been absolute crap so hope this works out well it does come with a, a wind muff or a wind sock but obviously we're indoors so we don't need that so anyway on to the mounting so to do this you pretty much do need two people so uh I have my wife here, she's not going to be on camera of course, but uh, we will be editing this and showing the process as we do it. So yeah, on to it. What we did first is we cut strips, small strips, about five or six inches, and that'll get us started to put the screen onto the pipe. And then after we're done putting the strips, we'll show you the next step after that. Okay, so we have our screen here, we left it on its core, and we have the pipe in front of it, and we're just going to roll it over onto the pipe a little bit the way you want it to go. This screen has obviously two sides and one side may be a little bit more textured than the other but we'll get it nice and even on the pipe and we'll just start with a strip of tape right here in the middle. Just like that. And we'll work our way down each side. So we have our strips of tape and we attach the screen, the backdrop, to the pipe in just small strips. And, and you can see on the end of the pipe, there's a couple inches on each end. This is the, the far end by the chain, but it's about the same length on the other end as well. So now what we're going to do is take bigger lengths of tape and go all the way down the seam.
you see we have the tape pulled out and you want to keep the tape taut you want to keep it tight if you let it go loose and slack it'll get all wrinkled and everything so keep your tape taut so i said keep the uh, the tape taut which is important uh, that's why it's important to have two people it makes this easier but you want to also to have the tape half on the screen half on the pipe i didn't say that before but that's important so make sure you do that and now we have our whole strip we did a single strip but it is okay if you have to do two even three but try to get it in one strip if you can and we just come through here and rub it down to make sure there's no bubbles or anything and we overlap the edge by a couple inches almost to the end of the pipe so it's nice and solid nice and smooth so really good so the next step is to roll your backdrop your screen on to the PVC pipe and we're using the same roll uh, direction that the back the screen is on its current uh, core to go onto the pipe so we're not fighting it and you, when you want to do when you do this you want to watch your edges so my wife will be on this edge and I'll be on this other edge and we'll be slowly just rolling it off of its core onto the pipe so here we go So there we go. It's on the pot. It's on the PVC. Here's the core of the uh, backdrop. Get it out of the way. So the screen, you know, is nine feet long. It's on the PVC pipe. It's really even. It doesn't have to be perfect, but get it pretty close. I would show you if I could, but this thing's long. So I'm going to scoot this down a little bit. And uh, next, we put our tensioners back in. We do the side with the chain first and it's just it's kind of like a uh, it's kind of like a paint roller where those are just a manual tension but this actually has a twist mechanism where that makes this thing expand and contract it's really really nifty. so you put that in, into the end there and just get it even have this little black piece sticking out just a little bit and you just tension it up just a little bit and it's in there pretty solid now now we'll have to put this chain back on and all you do is put it on the teeth it's like you know when you're riding a bicycle your chain came off same principle put that back on and i'm gonna do the other side even though you can't see it this one doesn't have a chain or anything it's just a you know just a regular roller pop that in same principle tighten it up a little bit and it's good so this thing is, like I said, this is why we use this heavy duty tape. And a good tip is make sure your tape is relatively new because old duct tape gets, you know, brittle. And uh, yeah, this is really smooth. This is a brand new Rolla Gorilla tape bought off Amazon. So that'll hold that really nice and uh, taut. So this has got to go up on our brackets now. So adventure, got to get my uh, step ladder out. And we rolled this in a way where it's all even, where I don't have to do any flipping or twisting or anything. So you got to think about that, how your roll goes on, where it's going to lay, if you don't have room like we don't have, because I have all my eBay stuff around. So I'm going to pick this up. done this a few times so I kind of know what I'm looking for okay. these have little slots you have to get the uh, brackets into these plastic slots precisely just like that and they pop down into place so it's up there that's our we have our white screen in the very back and our black screen so let's see how our tension is now. I did the tension where I thought it might be okay, but uh, we're gonna see how it works now. So I'm gonna roll the black screen. Gotta get it 
started for the first time. It's really on there. There we go. These chains have weights on the bottom of them. And they kind of get, they're like sticky. They're not real sticky, but they kind of, they don't slide real easy. But over time, they get smoother and they slide easier. Okay, so our tension looks pretty good. You can just tell because like getting the screen this low, the weight of it would pull it down just with gravity if the tension wasn't right. And it's staying. I have the screen down. It's staying right. Two thumbs up. So the only other thing that we're going to do, we're not going to do today, I'm going to pull this up just a little bit. Okay, so the bottom of the screen, you see that curls? You could put a weight in the bottom of this, like a little, I don't know, a little like half inch PVC pipe or whatever you have laying around that would fit into this well, and you could tape that down just to act as a you know, a ballast or, you know, just to be nice and tidy, but I'm never going to see the bottom of this because it's going to be too low. I'm going to be, you know, it's going to be way down here on the ground or draped over the table when I'm taking pictures. I'm not going to see it. So it's not that big of a deal to me, but you could do that. So uh, that's it. That is our nice new backdrop. I hope it looks good <laughs> and I hope we explained it well, but I know sometimes when you do stuff, you just forget easy things that people may have questions about so feel free to ask questions obviously uh, we will answer and rem uh, let me know how the uh, mic sounds the box over there but we got the new microphone for the ipad it'll be in the amazon affiliate links along with all this other stuff the backdrops the bracket system everything but the pipes essentially so thanks guys if you have any questions hit us up appreciate it